Okay, let's do it. Let's talk about good poop. No, uh, good stool? No, uh, good microbiome? Okay, let me start at the beginning. Fecal microbiota transplantation or FMT, is the infusion of specially prepared stool material from a healthy donor or donors into the gut or intestinal tract of a recipient to restore a healthy and stable gut microbiotal community and confer health benefits or to treat a specific disease or symptoms. The idea here is that FMT will help re-educate the gut microbiome inducing the recolonization of the gut and restoring gut diversity to donor-like proportions. So the idea here is you take a healthy person, you make sure they're really well screened, and you take their gut microbiome, which is in their stool, and this is going to actually, well, teach your gut how to be a better gut microbiome. The efficiency of FMT may actually depend on the donor's high diversity and composition of their gut microbiome and its ability to provide the necessary microbiota capable of overcoming gut dysbiosis. The idea here is that you want a really good donor with a really good microbiome that can then teach your gut microbiome how to do a better job. While FMT isn't anything new, it's been around for over 1,700 years in some way, shape, or form, FMT research is still in its infancy, particularly regarding the mechanism of effect. Your first question, I mean, even my first question was always, is FMT safe? I mean, it's someone else's stool. Actually, most reported adverse effects are mild transient symptoms, meaning they go away quite quickly including mild fever, diarrhea, nausea, abdominal discomfort, and bloating, which resolve quickly without any intervention. The most critical safety component for FMT involves appropriate donor screening and high quality manufacturing. At Novel Biome, donor screening is our top priority. We ensure that our donors are screened extensively, starting with, well, their medical history and their families. We want to ensure that there's nothing innate in our donors that can be passed on and negatively impact any of our recipients. Outside of that, we do blood and stool screening regularly to ensure that there's nothing that's going to be transferred to any of our recipients. Outside of that, we manufacture in a pharmaceutical grade laboratory, and this ensures that our products are, well, high quality, but also consistent. This is important. We want to ensure that every time someone uses our FMT products, well, they're going to work and they're going to be consistent. Where exactly is FMT being used today? Currently, FMT is an improved treatment for recurrent C. diff infections in patients that are non-responsive to antibiotic therapy. The promising outcomes of FMT to improve symptoms and alter the gut microbiome in patients with recurrent C. diff has actually led to the expansion of research evaluating the efficiency of FMT for a wide variety of both gastrointestinal and non-gastrointestinal disorders. In the last 10 years, there has been increased scientific and clinical research into how modifications of the gut microbiome using FMT can improve health and tackle areas of unmet medical need. Overall, we know there is a lack of large randomized controlled clinical trials, but the number of these clinical trials is growing with more than 300 publicly registered trials exploring FMT in May 2020 compared to less than 30 in 2013. This growing body of literature indicates that FMT may be a useful treatment option for things like inflammatory bowel disease, irritable bowel syndrome, metabolic disorders, autism spectrum disorder, Parkinson's disease, and multiple sclerosis. The data to date is mostly of small trials, but it's very positive outcomes. And with time, more randomized control trials will be done. And we hope that these will support the use of FMT in these areas of, well, unmet medical need. Currently, there isn't a lot of treatment options. And hopefully with more research, we can find out if, well, FMT is what we've been looking for.